Kirk Cousins has reportedly narrowed his choices down to the Vikings and the Jets, and he seemed to confirm that yesterday when he tagged those two teams in his goodbye letter to the fans in Washington. The Vikings also reached out to Drew Brees yesterday, but NFL Network reports he has re-signed with the Saints. So, Shannon, which team will Cousins choose? Minnesota. Because Minnesota is the, is the best option um, for him. Um, Skip, they finished, They were in the NFC title game last year. Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, Kyle Rudolph, Dalvin Cook comes back. Defense that's top one, top two. <laughs> At worst case scenario, they're no more than the third worst defense. I believe they're like the, the first. They're, they're probably the best defense in football. Let's go ahead and give well, them. Well, statistically, they finished number one. Right. So that's what you have to work with. Mm -hmm. And you play eight games indoors. You play Detroit indoors. Now, you're going to get one bad, you know, a couple of bad weather games. Mm -hmm. Depends on when you go to Chicago and Green Bay. But you know you got at least nine games in ideal conditions. Mm -hmm. Skip, he said in January, is money a part of it? Sure. I'm glad he said that because I hate when God, oh, money, you're lying. Stop lying. He said money, sure, it's not the only thing. It's about winning, and that's, how, that's what I want more than anything. If Kirk Cousins truly wants to win a title, Minnesota affords him the best opportunity. With that, with that being said, they are the second. If, if Kirk Cousins goes to Minnesota, give them the second best team right now in the NFC behind Philly. And that's either with, with Nick Foles, and I believe Carson Wentz is better than you do not, but I believe Carson is better. Now, how healthy he is at the start of the season, TBD, but we have a guy, they have a guy, Nick Foles, mm -hmm. that can, can carry the load until Carson gets 100% healthy. But I believe Kirk Cousins will go to Minnesota because they afford him the best opportunity to win, and that's how he wants to be known. He says he wants to be known as a guy that contended and won championships. Mm. The Minnesota Vikings afford him that luxury. Now, they can, the Jets can give you $100 million guaranteed, fully guaranteed, mm -hmm. but you ain't winning, Jack. Mm. You know that? I know that, Skip. Mm. If Kirk Cousins... Uh, wait, because the best quarterback in football is still in Foxborough? Skip. That, if Kirk Cousins, yep. first cousin, if he were to go to the Jets and they win a Super Bowl, Kirk Cousins would go down as a top five quarterback all time. Mm -hmm. If he did that for the Jets. But you and I both know that's not going to happen. Mm. So we ain't got to worry about that. Hmm. So everything you just said makes 1,000% uh, sense. Except? Except for <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Because I agree with all your premise, except for Kirk Cousins. I'm going to say it one more time. Kirk Cousins, to me, from a distance, is an underconfident overachiever who knows his limitations to a fault. He's always trying to convince you how good he is. You like that? Not really, but he went, Kirk Cousins did, I'm going to say this one more time, one and six against the arch rival Dallas Cowboys. He went 0 for 4 against my Cowboys in his stadium. That's not very good. He was four games under 500 as the Redskins quarterback, and you can say, oh, they lost all their receivers and their offensive line was decimated, and I get all that. But it's still wins and losses, says Shannon Sharp. And this guy is not a difference maker. He, he, he's not transcendent. He will not lift you out of whatever miseries you're suffering around the quarterback position. So I think he's very smart, and I think he's wily, and I think he's about to hit the all-time NFL lottery. <laughs> yeah. There's never been anything like this nope. before in the history of this league. Nope. So if Kirk Cousins immediately said no to trying to follow the John Elway Peyton Manning legacy in – Denverland and in, 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 up in Mile High, where, where it's just so <laughs> hallowed, and you, you know he would step right in there, and people would say, "Oh my God, we got our next Peyton. Elway and Peyton," yep. and he can't do that. He's not that good, and he knows he's not that good. What do you? What does he think the expectation is going to be with Minnesota? They're saying you're the final piece. They're not adding any more significant pieces to Minnesota, Skip. So why would would a Wiley? veteran like Kirk Cousins, a guy who really knows how the game is played, why would he want to become the savior in in Minnesota? Why why would he do that? Because that's what he has, that's how he's built. He says he's a competitor. Oh. You want to compete. Kirk Cousins is about to sign with the New York Jets. It's it, it's so it's on a silver platter for him because to your point, he can get the most money by far 
with the Jets. Yeah. And it's going to be over a hundred million guaranteed. This yeah. has never happened before. Yeah. Where you're and, and he can ask for shorter term so that after three years, he can hit the market again at age 32. He right. can kind of do a LeBron. Well, the Jets can pay the most money. Yeah. With the least amount of expectation. Thank you. Because least the pressure. Jets are not going to no okay. Super Bowl. Like, so the Jets went 5-11 and 11 last year. If Kirk Cousins goes in there and goes 8-8, eight and eight, it will be seen as terrific success. Not you for know, $30 like million. Dollars. He better not go 8-8 eight and eight for $30 million. Oh, I think he could get away with that. I no, he cannot. Jets fans would say, well, we got to 8-8. Eight and eight. Next year will be a little better. No. Nah, fire, huh? uh, a fireman there ain't going to have huh? that. Yeah. Can he retire? Uh, he Yeah. As bad as, yeah, he had to retire. They about to give him a heart attack. Down. He kept cheering, and they wouldn't get no touchdowns, no wins. So why why wouldn't he take the three years guaranteed from start to finish in New York? Kirk is very good with the media. He's and it, that's the hard part of New York is dealing with the media. Well, he was great with the media in Washington. He knows how to play them off. He knows little things to say to distract them. All media is good it. if you play well, Skip. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is play well. Yeah, but why would he want to go to Minnesota and be win. the final crucial piece yes. of the Super Bowl puzzle yes. for a franchise that way back in the day from like, what was it, 1969 to 1976, they went to four Super Bowls and won none uh -huh. of them. Mm -hmm. None of them. So, so they've never won a Super Bowl, nope. and it's been forever since they even sniffed a Super Bowl right. until last year they had, it looked like they might have right. a home Super Bowl. But the point is they were so close, oh. and then they were so far. So they need Kirk Cousins? Do you yeah. think he wants to walk in there with that kind of pressure? I don't. Yes. I'll be, and again, I will be impressed if he chooses Minnesota. There that's very, extreme pressure. There are very few teams in the NFL that are built to say we're only a quarterback away. The Minnesota Vikings are saying we are a quarterback away. We got to the NFC Championship game with Case Keenum. Yep. We believe they're saying to themselves, if, if the higher-ups sit around the table, we believe Kirk Cousins is a better option than Keenum. Because if they thought Keenum could replicate what he did last sure. year, Skip, they'd have re-signed him. Sure. And they could have him for probably $20, 30000000 million less guaranteed yep. with him than they're going to have to pay Kirk. Yep. But, Skip, and I, I agree to a certain extent, this is a big, big gamble for Kirk. Because what they're saying, yes, we got, all, we got a big old 100-piece puzzle on the table. Everything's there. It's all Those there. are little pieces. Yeah. You're to the, your point, even Dalvin Cook's coming back. Yes, so you yes. So Latavius Burns. So you, 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 yes. you got it all. Young receiver. You're on the verge. Yes. You just need a quarterback. You need somebody to make a few. Although Case Keenum played pretty well he did. at Philly. He yes. played pretty well. Remember the opening drive, he went 75 yards and nine yes. plays, and they're up seven to nothing? But it was that one bad throw. He threw that pick six, Skip, and the, av it, it, avalanche. the avalanche just yep. boom, engulfed. The avalanche was from Nick Foles, who – Played better than Carson Wentz. I don't know how he did it, but he did. Oh, don't worry about yeah, it. Okay. He said, like, I throw them bowls. I got something for you too, Tom. Yeah. We're going to talk about that later. Yeah. Oh, them bowls. Uh. So, to me, it's it, it's just so, it's a done deal. Kirk Cousins is going to go to the Jets, which is going to leave the Vikings in the all-time lurch, which is why last night there were reports that the Vikings had made overtures to the agent of Drew Brees, yeah. who is now signed officially to stay, which is no right. surprise, right. to stay with the Saints. But it looked like for a moment there he might be a free agent. Mm -hmm. And they're calling because they know they can't put all their eggs in Kirk Cousins' basket. As we much as they have to offer, That they, they don't, you know, again, you can't go back to Bridgewater and, and, and Sam Bradford, Skip, because of the injury history. Okay, we got seven years of data. What's left? Where, where, do, where else do you go? I don't know where else you go. I don't know either. I don't know either. They're, I think you have to go back to Sam Bradford. I don't know. Skip, he can't stay, he can't stay healthy. And he, he's scary. I he folds like a banquet chair at the end I, of the I night, I said Skip. this before he got drafted. I watched every snap he took at the University of Oklahoma, and I never loved him. He got hurt in college. Okay. He got hurt in St. Louis. But this game of musical chairs is about to stop, and the one team that's going to have an empty chair is the Vikings. That's my But opinion. how do you go back to Sam Bradford, Skip? Well, uh, tell me where else you're going to go. I mean, she ain't going to take you back. You don't oh. try to date everybody else, and then they don't turn you down, and now you want to come back to her. Well, you got to have somebody at quarterback. They've been the team without a quarterback for so long. I know. Whew. It happens. Yeah. Sad. Kirk Cousins, he did it to another team. Hey, do that. <laughs> well, Drew Brees' uh, deal is a two-year, $50 million contract with $27 million guaranteed. Whew. He was not going to leave 
New Orleans. But it's actually a one-year deal with a team option after the first year, yeah. and it has a no-trade clause. So, Well, the thing was, Skip, is that he wasn't giving them a discount. See, they wanted somewhere in the neighborhood 18, 19, and Drew said, did you see what Did you see what Jimmy Garoppolo just got? <laughs> if you think I'm playing for $7, 8000000 million left per year to him, well, you're and, crazy. And Drew is 39, but he can also say, did you see what that guy up in Foxborough just did at 40? He just yeah. won the MVP. He's and on. Jimmy Garoppolo got seven stars. Yep. Drew Brees said, I got like 150 stars. Mm -hmm. I need my cheese. Okay, and he got his he cheese. He got it. And there's no way. I, I think they're playing a game of chicken, but d did you really think last night that Drew Brees was going to pick up stakes and move his, I think he's four, four kids, yeah. Yeah. move his four, wife um, and four kids up to Minneapolis? No. I just don't think he was going to do it. Denver? Well, uh, I, I, no. don't, I don't think him, him and no. there was would some go anywhere. conjecture about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Skip, uh, Kirk Cousins is recording a reportedly recording a Tom versus Time esque documentary uh, about his free agency three. experience. Oh, I can't wait to watch that. Oh, cool! Because opening his home and showing you uh, details uh, of what it's like to <coughs> choose where you go. Yeah, because agency. Kirk has won so many super. Stop! No, no way, he hasn't won anything. He hasn't even, he's not even above 500 as a oh, starting quarterback. so because I haven't directed an Oscar-worthy film, I can't oh. be a director? I can't produce? I mean, come on, I got to start somewhere, Skip Dude, Bayless. I will not watch that. I refuse. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I refuse. Come on, Skip, don't do that. I can't wait to talk Why? about Tom versus Tom because we're going to yeah, do we'll that, that in just a minute. minute. Kurt versus free agency. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. I'm impressed. Next up, the Lakers host the Nuggets tonight, and all eyes will be on.